What is up, beautiful people? Welcome to another episode of Noted DX, your walking, talking flavor review show. Welcome me and joining my guests tonight. I got my normal two guys, my crew, uh, Advocate for Liberty, Tim and Daniel, the vape person. What's up, guys? I'll go first because Daniel's got a surprise. I mean, just <laughs> hey. call, me, call me, call me Daniel. Stop adding stuff to it. Just call me Daniel. <laughs> Well, I got to call you by your mixing name so people can find you. I don't um, care. Daniel the Vape Man. Daniel. They type in Daniel the Vape Lady. and Yeah. Search Samantha. You'll find me eventually. Oh, I mean, yes. they're not good to begin with, so don't worry. Daniel, you got they're a not, new little setup there going on. Anything. You're still cutting in and out? Still? Stop messing with me. <laughs> don't mess with me. You look beautiful. You look I don't beautiful. Care. What's Daniel the Vape Man. What, what, what's, uh, what's, whoa, what was that? What was that on... Uh, What's that banana on your face? What's that? A banana on my face. What's on a banana on my face? Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, Sam got a new tattoo and stuck it on his face. Let's all talk about it. Anyways. <laughs> okay. We got jackfruit, starfruit, snake fruit tonight. Because who the fuck knows what those are? And they don't deserve their own episodes. So, yeah. And no guest. So it's just us three, folks. Have fun. Uh, before we do anything, though, I'm going to give away some flavors. Hopefully, I can screen share Wayne. Boop. Nope, not yet. I got to warn you about this before we start. Um, there we go. Let's see. Screen share. Let's see. Flavor of the Week giveaway. Uh, go to reddit.com uh, backslash DIY juice and comment on the flavor of the week and you have a chance to win uh, money for flavors from bullcity.com, bullcityflavors.com. Cute little snake fruit thing going on right there. $20 worth of flavors from ID10T. Here we go. Do the purge, do the purge. I got like six beers deep, just so everybody knows. Curry on a memorable pack. Curry Santo. Congratulations, Curry Santo. Awesome. I don't have Flavora Sour Slop flavor of the week. Confuses the fruit out of me. This isn't going to do any better. I plan to jack that recipe with F.A. Lulo strawberry green for my yada yada. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. TFA jackfruit's the only jackfruit. Want you guys to compare it. Daniel's got vape train. So, yeah, we'll get into that. Uh, thank you, Curry Santo, for uh, commenting on the flavor of the week post you guys can go ahead and comment win flavors from bullcityflavors.com you can click on the noted tab and get a discount right now uh for everything they got which is flavora tfa jackfruit wonder flavor snake fruit wonder flavor star fruit thank you bull city thank you id10t for doing that um and yeah daniel deep dived again not really i'm Missed a couple. I realized that I don't know Polish, so in a way, I missed uh, Nanka or whatever it is, and I missed one other. Uh, but I think it was because of stock and issues. But uh, I guess we're gonna organize them by like what they are, obviously. So I guess I I guess we'll we're gonna split them up I between like the actual only- three. Yeah, I, I think we'll just, you know, the best way to do is start with the one by itself. So the one that's by itself is uh, Starfruit. And Starfruit, it wasn't too bad. Yeah, there's, uh, only, there's fruit, only one Starfruit flavoring, and it's Wonder Flavors Starfruit. Yes, Wonder Flavors Starfruit. Yeah. Wonder uh, Flavors. This one's good. It's, it's kind of, they're hard. So I, I, have you guys ever had jackfruit or any of these flavors ever? Like in real life? No. Yeah, like fruit or whatever they are. So I've had jackfruit, but I haven't had snake fruit or star fruit. Uh, the star fruit is in a recipe, uh, a famous recipe called rain that I really loved. Uh, and by itself, you can kind of see why he used it because it, it's very uh, juicy, very, very yeah. juicy. Um, I, I said it would probably pair well with like some guava or some tropicals or cherry moya. It tastes like exotic fruit candy that you'll never knew was a star fruit. Uh, I get a nice, uh, a 
nice funky tropical note that's indescribable but good it has some pineapple vibes with textures of like a banana there is some kind of skin in there that gives me kind of like a mech like a melon rind kind of skin or, or something like some green skin but i feel like you can mask it in a recipe uh i mixed it at what three percent it wasn't bad but you can see why it was it's used in a lot of like tropical recipes because it definitely could kind of yep. help elevate the tropicalness of a recipe you know, it's, obviously I uh, it's but, really funny that we grouped these three fruits together because i mm -hmm. don't think we did it other than the reason that they're like obscure fruits that but they're so similar but they're all so similar which is it's why it's freaking funny. Me out. they're all like this it's yeah weird. tropically citrus type thing that's going on but yeah the, so that's fun. okay i gotta i'm definitely it's in my cart i'm definitely getting it because i want to mix that well you said it's rain right i'm sorry you said it's rain that uses that one, the popular one. I believe it's in rain, if I remember yeah. correctly. He uses yeah. star fruit, uh, and it, 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 it it's it, you, you can see like it's not the best by itself, obviously, but you can see it taking it somewhere where it will be like delicious. And being um, like your like either like a backup player or like a heavy accent mm -hmm. type type well, thing. I, I feel like it would be kind of like uh, I use like Yellow Passion a lot by VTA to make like a funky note i feel right. like if you wanted to add a mild funky note but add a funky juicy note to it this would be good for it like i feel like it would go good with a lot of red fruits like guavas or strawberries stuff like that yeah uh, kind of like, like the real funky star fruit. stuff I've like had, cherry moya mm. i've had the real star fruit I've never at like a chinese buffet thing where they had, had on the I did, yeah i've had a real star fruit unfortunately like sam I made my order just before you get added it, so I didn't get this one. And I just um, feel so dumb because I was like, add star fruit, and then I forgot to fucking order it. But whatever, you know, shit happened. I'm glad Daniel had it now. But maybe. but the fruit itself is kind of reminiscent of that. It's got this weird, yeah, kind of almost banana, but not quite banana, kind of pineapple, but kind of not. It's They're I mean, that's like the thing about this weird pairing that you guys made. It's like you pick some of the strangest fruits that just taste kind of like other fruits. <laughs> it's, they're they're kind of in the same category as like dragon fruit where it's like you it's really hard to describe them without just mashing other fruits i, I kind of thought that as like man you know a lot of these are paired with jack uh dragon fruit i see it in a lot of the recipes i was looking at and i understand why because it dragon fruit could have been in with this group as a group of flavors that are very similar as like similar type yeah, yeah like tropical weird things i have a production yeah, like note yeah, what's up, Wayne? <laughs> oh, wait, how, hold on. I have to add. Oh, I hate how they have to do this. Give me one second, one second. Have you guys have ever had a star fruit? No, right? No, I Tim, have. Tim has. I have. I, I have feel not. like okay. it's like just like it's like the LaCroix of fruits. It's like the most watery, like essence flavored thing. There's barely like any fruitiness to a star. So exactly fruit. like a dragon fruit. I even I feel like no, dragon fruit even no. has like more exotic. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Dragon, dragon fruit, fruit has like more punch. Water. Yeah. yeah. Star fruit is dragon like fruit has, you're like, sucking. It's fruit. almost like, like one notch above bell pepper in terms of like wateriness. It's like slightly <laughs> and, vegetal yep. and just and, super an awful watery. wizard. An awful, an awful wizard says in real life, star fruit is like tart water. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty much what <laughs> it is. Okay. It's got <laughs> this slight water. weird flavor to it. I mean, you can taste it, but it's not like strong. It's like literally yeah. it's, it's really good for you too. That's it's yummy. It. All these are healthy. Yeah. It sounds yummy, like but... Wonder Flavor Star Fruit has some more flavor to it than the actual fruit does then. Yeah. I would imagine. By a long shot. A little more concentrated and whatever. All right. Cool. All right. There's the production note. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you, Wayne. <laughs> Always appreciate your uh, in, inside input. Um, did you want to do snake fruit next? Yeah. It makes sense. Save the best for last. But uh, snake fruit, did you guys get VTA in time? Nope. Nope. Okay, uh, don't worry too much. I get the skin of cactus with the soul of guava, both lost uh, their way long ago. Uh, there's a faint mango or like pineapple question mark note way in the back. It's very mute at 3%. It's lacking body and depth. It gives me kind of a bleh feeling. However, it is very, very juicy. The common like theme here is they're yeah. all super juicy. A lot. These are at all least from what I can remember. They're yeah. wet. So this one, I, 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 it just, 
it's not that good compared to the number one, which I'm pretty sure you guys have the snake fruit from Wonder Flavors. Yeah, I do have this one. Um, so I tested this was so a Wonder Flavors snake fruit. I tested at four percent, and it was like um, I got like an odd sweet but kind of earthy dark tropical fruit. It was really weird on the single flavor test. I got kind of like um, almost like pear and dates, like dark. Does that make sense? But it was like tropical pineapple, like citrus to it. Uh, I didn't get this one. Same reason as the other ones. Thank you, Sam, for adding it the week after I made my order. (laughs) I mean, I I just tried this again and i really like it it's it's not it's better i guess since i tried it after i tried the vta i like it a lot better than vta's it seems like you can easily it tastes like a it tastes like the epitome of like the uh, pineapple mango banana kind of thing that's been going on and it's really good though but i can see it not as like kind of like a main star but an additive which most of these are except for one i feel like Uh, or like like yeah that's where you can kind of like mm-hmm. mid notes, they're not they're heavy layers. on the top. Yeah, they're the way mid notey, and mm-hmm. like heavy, like like accent players or whatever. But I I can see like I got pear versus banana. Um, I don't know, like date raisin, like dark, like type. I, I don't really know how to explain what I got. Like I can like see red- pear. I can definitely see a pear in there. Like the the like the can pear where the inside of it, you know. Mm-hmm. With yeah. no skin on it whatsoever, kind of deal. I did get like I some earthiness from it as well at four percent. That it sounds that. like uh, similar to the uh, we're going to talk about with the jackfruit. These are all like really good bridge flavors, like to bring different fruits together. Yeah, uh, I mean, for you guys, I just have a question. Did you notice like the drastically different? difference in jackfruits being better than the rest or is that just me i just think drastically they're different fucking, they're all different they're all good they're bo- the, both the two that i have are good but they're they're just yeah. wildly not even Dr- wildly but they're just they're drastically different yeah yeah same, same category but man they're different flavoring and if you if you yeah even the fruit itself like the original the jackfruit itself has this varied you can't even i mean i was trying to see which one was more th- authentic you we were googling we even found it, out. trying to figure out what it tastes like. People are like, "Cooked jackfruit tastes like pulled pork," and we're like, "God damn it, that doesn't help anything." <laughs> like, it tastes like somewhere pork. between, yeah, somewhere oh, between uh, uh, pineapples a, and a mango and a somewhere between a mango and a pineapple, maybe with a little bit of melon. It's like, yeah, I'm getting that off these, but varied way wildly different. Yeah. So, what's your least favorite jackfruit, Daniel? So. Before I go into it, I tried to find a jackfruit last minute, and I went to my H Mart. H Mart is local; like uh, they have a lot of Asian and uh, Asian food there, uh, and you can get a lot of exotic, cool fruits. I've gotten guava, cherimoya, yada yada. And I looked for a jackfruit. I was hoping they would have a chopped up. They only have the full things. And if you Google how big they are, that's how much it is. And I, I was just, I don't have space to chop that up. But the worst one by far. The, the only one that I didn't like uh, was Favora. I, I, I didn't get much off of it. I got a mild uh, jackfruit with some notes of pineapple in the background. It has a green melon rind, but nothing beyond that. Very weakened yeah. fla- uh, flavor. And it, it's, it's just, there's not much to it. And I, um, I've had jackfruit, but it's been a long time. And this didn't you, taste like anything to me. Really. What'd you test it at? I tested okay. it at two percent i believe so did i so did i so i definitely two percent yeah i got like a pineapple and something that was almost melon or cantaloupe with a Mm -hmm. little honeydew go and but there was an astringent note to this that i had a hard time placing and i think if you're sensitive to this 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 might give you like gym sock vibes that went away a little bit after steep that went away a little bit after after steep it went away a little I got um, like a, but yeah, I got, I got like a honeydew cantaloupe like vibe from this. Yeah, maybe a slight mangoish. I couldn't really tell. It was and, like uh, mango sweetness, kind of with like the pineapple yeah. tang, and then yeah, um, I got a decent amount of flavor from it. At, no, wait, no, let's see. Um, yeah, I didn't. Think it was the a much lower. 
it does have a ripeness to it that I think somebody might be sense like Dave might have a sensitivity to or something like that. But yep. I didn't hate this flavoring. I quite like this flavoring. But yes, you're I right. Two percent you. even it's kind of like yeah, kind of mid-level, you know, mm-hmm. saturation and accenty type type thing. I, I tried turning it up and the I didn't like the results. Yes, that, uh, we that that, that, that that stringent note you were talking about it comes out worse. more. Yeah, I believe that yeah. for sure. I believe that. Um, so it seems like two percent. Yeah. So the, well, maybe like one point five, like because two percent. I did. Two and, wasn't bad for me, so two would be the cap for me, probably. I don't know. Three yeah, might. That, three, I think it went three seems to be. I, I went two and then four and then four. No. Yeah, no. I believe that. Yeah, <laughs> I did three, and I was like, no, no, this is not good. Yep. Yeah, uh, I did four, and it's like, nope. This this is a bad choice, and I was thinking it was getting better. It would get better because I thought it felt kind of light, mm-hmm. but I didn't hate it. Like like Sam, I did not hate this flavor. It wasn't bad at all. It was okay. It's just I the mean, balance. I didn't hate it, but it, it, it just wasn't as comparable to the other two. Like um, the other two were just a lot better. Um, the next one that I have, do you guys have Wonder Flavor? Uh, Wonder Flavors Jackfruit. No, no, for some reason no. I don't. No, no, I didn't either. For some um, it kind of tastes authentic. It kind of, uh, yeah. Wonder flavors jackfruit. It, I got it from chefs, if I'm correct. It was one of. The, I think I got uh, it when I got. Oh my god, and all the weird stuff that I like. Um, this one's actually not that bad though. So keep it on your list. It's kind of authentic. It's kind of not. It tastes like the usual kind of pineapple stuff that you get, pineapple, mango, banana kind of vibe. Uh, but I'm getting a weird off note, uh, like a can. So uh, kind of like Capella's uh, golden pineapple, how you get a can from it. Uh, so like uh, that, yeah, it tastes like a can. Mask can. It. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like that metallic. You get tinge. that little metallic note, kind of like. Right. Mm-hmm. Or it's, like you it's, your it's, it's the, now. <laughs> The rest of it is kind of comparable to TPA. We'll get into it. Uh, it compares it, and I will go into why I pick it number one. Uh, it's not as robust. Um, it, it, how, however, I think it would work good with all, all that funky stuff like c- cactus, mangoes, dragon fruits, jackfruits, yada, yada, cherry moya. I really want to work with. And it's just an overall really good uh, sleeper because uh, most people are not going to get it. I don't think I got it in america i'm pretty sure i got it from chefs or noms uh but it's kind of like tpa except it's not as robust and that's my number one tpa i started off the weekend uh, doing that and trying it out and i was like okay this is going to be a good week but for me that was the number one by far it was it to me it just tastes like a really well-balanced pineapple yeah, like it tastes similar is, to Inawera or something like, like that. Like the difference between TPA, yeah. I'm assuming Wonder Flavors and Flavora is the balance of the fruits that are in it. They're just slightly different. Mm-hmm. TPA, yep. I, I did it at 2% and I've mixed a few recipes with it at, at like up to 4%. So you can kind of push this one a bit higher and get more out I, of it. But I mixed it at 2 and 5 because I went off the notes of other people's and I tried it at 5. I actually really liked it at 5 as a single. Yeah. It wasn't bad at all. Yeah. Um, I got... I, I didn't think the it, I get like a mango sweetness that isn't super ripe. It's like a sweet mango sweetness with get, like a pineapple citrus tang. Yep. And it's definitely tropically. It's pretty friggin' juicy. I don't get any off notes. It's got a good syrupy body to it, juicy syrupy body. Um it has like a five percent, you get almost this nectarine like note. Okay, which is kind of yeah. interesting. It's like that. It's it's really it's a versatile bridge flavor. You can use this to blend any of those together. And you'll tropical. see when we get into our recipes, like some of yeah. these flavorings work in ways that you wouldn't even like. Wow, this works really well with this other fruit. But um, I like TPA jackfruit a lot. I, I I agree. I think this flavoring is a really nice tropical blend flavor. That I don't even if you don't necessarily want jackfruit. You know, if you if you tell somebody that this this is just a you know tropical whatever vape, they're not going to be like, oh, there's fucking jackfruit in this. You know what I mean? You could you could use it in that way or not in that way as a bridge flavor. You could use it as your heavy accent or like, you know, back it up with other things and as your main. So I think this one's got a lot of uses. Yeah, for sure. What is it? The mango. Um, oh, what is the flavor? One has the three fruits. In, 
Yeah, this mm-hmm. this kind of feels like it's almost one of those flavors. It just kind of blends everything. It's just so yeah, you use that with you like, know, pine out. Yeah, why is it like they forgot like to add it to it? I uh, it'd be fun to test their Flavor's jackfruit next to the mango pineapple passion because you I was get, actually curious. You know what I mean? I, I know they're different, but it like I wonder if that would actually fit in the vein of this kind of like mixed tropical fruit. It might. Type thing. That one's got. I feel a like really it would make, one, but. I, I can like see something. Make- um, I was curious if Swaggy was thinking about making one of these, and I just asked him quick and chat about it. And I was just thinking to myself, could you imagine him trying to pull the flavor naturally out of a star fruit? <laughs> Those things hardly have any flavor. You'd have to have a truckload to get like one concentrate. You have to oh, make that's like a 700 hour bottle, like super <laughs> concentrated star fruit, like syrup, and then turn that into your flavor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah so this is a seven hundred dollar bottle. I mean, that's just the cost to make it. Yeah. No, right. maybe maybe it's that's not water. Right. <laughs> well he's got yeah, dragon right. fruit, but yeah. Yeah. I, TPA I, I, when I first vaped this, I mean like I first off I picked this episode before I was like asked by Sam to be on the show. And it was with the pineapple episode too. And to me, as soon as I tried this, it just made me want to mix it with. So it's a little bit drier compared to the normal pineapples, but I feel like it would complement. And you could use favora for that funk because it would spot, uh, like sweeten up favora and kind of brighten it up because it's kind of naturally sweeter than the rest. Like all the I rest think, of the flavors, it's the sweetest. But it I think definitely I want to work. It got me excited to work with pineapples. I feel yeah, like I think, it's, just I think well. it depends on which pineapple because I do think this this flavoring may be a little bit drier than some pineapple, but it is still pretty damn juicy. It's not yeah, like you... FA pear status mm-hmm. or like flavora cantaloupe, which like just fucking wet your mouth. Like, but it did is either a, either of you therapy. add sh- adding sweetener to yours. I did not, and I don't think this one of all of them need my that base. Much. My, and I'll say this again: my base has a very minuscule amount of sweetener in it, just to, because almost everything I mix gets sweetener you know i'm not a oh add marshmallow for sweetness type of mixer i'll be like if somebody does that in a recipe i'll be like i'm still putting two drops of super sweetness but see um, with this one here did this is the one of all the flavors it's that kind of could go without it, 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 it I, really I barely enough it. in so that i can still tell if the flavoring itself has inherent sweetness to it or not um it's really mm-hmm. just like a subliminal all right the show. audience needs Flavor. to listen. It's the, the same as like I need- add like one milligram nick to all my testers too, because it's like it's a subliminal thing. Really. The audience needs to know how important sweeteners are to recipes, though. They are so very like, important. I use whatever I use in my recipes, I use in my base, which is what I use for my testers. So all of them have like 0.25 or 0.5 sweetener. I do like, yeah, but I do yeah. like 0.2, 0. 0.3. Use sweeteners sucralose a flavor you know or like point one. it's not going to kill you it's not going to kill super you sweet. like not mm-hmm. enough that it's even you know standing out to be like oh this is super sweet like what yeah. I, don't, I don't put one percent super sweet in my base i don't even put a half this week I this week experiment. i did it different i let them steep like normal and then at the end today when i did the final testing i put this, a little bit of sweetener in to see if they changed this one didn't really the tpa one did not really improve it kind of stayed almost the same so that's why i say it has an inherent sweetness in it of all the others i tried that something new there i wanted to see if it made a difference i did find the flavora one it actually brought out more of that like what is it that nectarine like note it actually bumped it a little bit was it you said tpa had a nectarine when you pushed it up to like five did flavora have it too you think? Oh, wait a minute. Well, no, not not nectarine. What is it? Let me look at my notes here. It, it threw something out at me. Uh, the flavor Favora has that was nectarine. like ripe mango thing. Going. Favora has the melon. Oh no, variety. that the melon. That's what it was. Melon, it, okay. it threw more of that. Uh, yeah, got the do, melon, like right. cantaloupe melon. That's what it was. And it it's not even like just going back to Flavora real quick. When we say it's not even like heavy on the rind. It's you know it's it's it is more of like the melon flesh like you know for some. I mean, we're just trying to explain something that we've never tasted, you know, or we haven't tasted in a while. (laughs) I mean, you know, so I I I still almost want to tell you say what I say what I said in our chat about these. These are like these these fruits were like like some kind of weird fruit orgy got together. Weird incest fruit fruit orgy. Yeah. Yeah. This is but like a good. blind I mean, per- don't sleep on person trying to explain a fruit to you. Yeah, th- this fruit is really like kind of a little mix of a bunch of different fruits. That's kind of I think how they made them. 
I think someone looked at notes for Jackfruit and just went at it because you know Fuck, we didn't both get pulled the, they all fall they all fall into that category though they're I within the spectrum of what they claim i hope you got no wonder flavors is gonna put out a fucking baked jackfruit and baked jackfruit like, pull pork pull pork <laughs> get cardboard from it you know i'll get cardboard you get cardboard from, from it <laughs> cardboard pull pork yeah anyways i don't think you mixed you didn't mix any recipes this week right daniel Nah, I mean we should bring up rain if Wayne can quickly pull that up later. I can on. like, I got it. I can. I, can I that recipe is legendary. I didn't have time. I apologize. I wanted to because I'm excited to use jackfruit, but I just didn't have time. I've been getting everything set up and doing a bunch of stuff. Give so. me one second. Uh, yeah, the pulled pork thing we're looking through because we're both we're all trying to say what's the most authentic. I'm, we're not sure. We're not sure. So we pulled it up on Google what the real fruit tastes like, and it went everywhere from pineapple to mango to other things. And then it if pork. you cook it, if you cook jackfruit, it tastes like pulled pork. <laughs> it tastes like pine. Yeah. And like, what was I, your I response, Sam? Fucking, I think that's some vegan. That's, that's making what I, yep. Up. And it doesn't actually taste like it's it's vegan pulled pork or something. I guess I don't know. Is it yeah. it's, is it is it purple rain or is it just rain? Just rain. I'm purple rain. You can pull that up too yeah, if you I, want. Do you have star fruit in that one? Yeah, I have everything. I have everything except I Yours I switched out bilberry ripe for uh, purple rain. It's the same recipe except purple five. Purple rain. That's mine though. Pull, pull up him. Oh, okay. Okay. We can talk. Old Rain by Daniel's got 0.25 cactus, Wonder Flavors, Hibiscus Candy, Kande at 4%, TPA Honeysuckle at 3, and or Purple Rain 0.6, Star Fruit Concentrate, Wonder Flavors at 2.5, and then 0.3 WS23. Yeah, that looks really good. It's, it's, so, so it's all credit to him. The only thing that had changed from him is I didn't have Bill Berry ripe. So I added Purple Rain. Uh, I was fairly new into the mixing scene. And it came out delicious. And then I eventually got the original. And both are really good. They're completely different, though. It changes the vibe up a lot. But the rain is one of my favorite uh, recipes of all time. I mean, from the idea of what it is, like, the you know, it's not just a simple mix. He's thinking of how to mimic rain. And he's got bilberry ripe uh, VTA. Oh, go back there. there. At 1.75 cactus in aware of the juice at 0.25 uh, hibiscus candy uh, wonder flavors at four honeysuckle uh, TPA at three star wonderful and it literally tastes like a tropical front rainforest like that's there's no other way around it it's just very unique it's very juicy it's very full body but it tastes like a tropical uh, rainforest that's what you get from it it's kind of hard to explain so you just subbed out. Purple rain. That's purple it. Rain for the bilberry. Okay. And that's it. And so mine's just turned it purple. Basically the same thing. Purple rain versus regular yeah. rain. Um, both are this really good. Oh, no, I need the star fruit. That's right. <laughs> both are good in their own way. I mean, I just love the idea of trying to mimic some that is, you know, not real. It, in well, you know, like real, no one's drinking. It's, it's you know what I mean. Like no one's drinking water. Subjective thing. I mean, yeah. It's like what is. What is the smell of rain? Yeah, I totally mm-hmm. get that. Yeah. Like if you are, if it rains in the woods and you like smell, that's what it kind of feels. If it rains in the woods and nobody's been. around to hear it. Does yeah. it? Does it really rain? Does it smell? Yeah. The, I'm the guessing rain this in the woods, rains in the tropical rainforest, rain in the city. It's all going to kind of have like a different mm-hmm. thing. I, I, I like, yeah. That's on my list for sure. It's I get one out of the way real quick. Uh, you already loaded up. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah. So I got this one on ELR. It's called If You're Not Prepping, You Might Be Late to the Game. I don't know. My uh, mix and hope. Uh, mix and May hope. 19th, mix and hope of this year. Um, May 19th of this year. It's got Capella Golden Pineapple at 3%. Greek Yogurt Flavora at 1%. Uh, Mango Indian Special FA at 2 And we're a Shisha Lemon at 0.75. It's got Wonder Flavors Snake Fruit at 1.5, Vape Train Sugar Loaf at 2, and Yogurt Drink Vape Train at 1.5. Um, pull up my notes real quick. This is really good. Um, it's a really nice, it's it's heavy. Tro- he, he really leaned into the pineapple that you get from, from the snake fruit. 
was a little bit lighter than the jackfruits were. Um, but it, it, this is a really nice tropical pineapple mix with a lot of nuance. Um, it's not just pure straight. It's not like you're just mixing sugar loaf and golden pineapple and, you know, in a wear of pineapple together. It's, it's definitely got a lot more nuance to it than that. The yogurts in this don't really, I mean, maybe with a steep, the yogurt will come out a little bit heavier, but the tang really just adds kind of to the tropicalness of this whole mix um, and gives the whole thing like this, this creamy carpet to lay on. Um, there's no vanilla or nothing. It's just, it's just creamy. Um, doesn't interfere with anything. Um, not entirely sure what the snake fruit's doing in this, except laying some like earthy tropicalness to the whole thing, but mango Indian special and those pineapples, a little bit of that shisha lemon really helps brighten things up. And the snake fruit's probably just in there bridging shit together. Honestly, probably uh, juicing it up to a little bit. Uh, you know? Yeah, no, probably this is a really, juice. this was a really good mix. I, I, I'll vape all of this. Um, I enjoy it a lot. And I'm really curious to see how the yogurt drink and the Greek yogurt steep mm -hmm. yogurt drink drink is fantastic and that's got like a citrus note to it right yeah like a lemon kind of zesty kind of, it's like a lemon yogurt drink that you got the, they're kind of like barrels they kind of reminds me of that that you would drink in the morning if you were poor like me right. and i really <laughs> wanted to because i just got the shisha lemon so I, that's a good flavor like this had then the snake fruit i've never mixed with before mm -hmm. either so for first mix using a couple flavors for the first time like this is this is really good i wish i had an easier name uh to share with people but <laughs> you want to do one tim yeah you got one yeah tim? sure yeah I got, i've got a few um he's got a dad right. you know yeah my baby my yeah. baby's over here hiding yeah. all it's late for tim so we got but, yeah. <laughs> so we got a uh, thai apple jack by lead pipe 58 um, it's, these are simple recipes, but it is a good way to test these. Um, we have dragon fruit, um, from TBA at 2.73%, jackfruit, uh, drag, jackfruit by, uh, TPA at 2.5%, super sweet perillum at 0.5 and Thai apple from wonder flavors at two. And I love that Thai apple. On, that Thai apple. Yeah, that's, that's, um, this is very, very good. I actually left a note on here and gave him a rate, uh, five-star rating on it. I like this one a lot. But uh, here, I actually wrote notes on this. Yeah, Thai Apple Jack is, uh, as is suspected, the jackfruit is easily influenced by the other flavors. Works here as a sort of bridge between the apple and the dragon fruit. It's, uh, it's kind of like there. I mean, the dr apple kind of does punch through a little more than the dragon fruit on this one. Um, so it gives it a little more of a juicy note. But yeah, it's, it's freaking, this is really good. That looks strongly recommended. Good. Smells and tastes amazing. Someone else gave it. I just actually put one on there too because I had to put one on there. It, it was a really good mix. Uh, for being simple, didn't take away the flavor from it. It was really, really good. Um, I walked away, so I didn't hear a whole lot of what you said, but does the Thai apple, does it stand out or does it like... It stand, it, it, no, it stands out. Okay. <laughs> it does it stand out a lot. But, but not like overly. Like Actually, the jackfruit did its thing. It kind of balanced out and actually added to you know how jackfruit's kind of one of those flavors too it kind of added that weird multi-layer of fruit things it's not really there it's almost like there's other fruits there that aren't really there it kind of gave you that yeah. feel it's like giving nuance that's like i said yeah. that it's, it's like, almost like that uh that flavora um trio it's, it's kind of like that it's kind of like this it's a bunch of flavors in one it just makes it feel like you made a bigger mix it doesn't feel yeah. like just right two flavors like you got like a lot more layering going on than you do, but really yeah. stuck in jackfruit. Yeah, I get that for sure. Yeah. It's just dragon um, fruit I, and jackfruit. I did one that's pretty similar to that. Um, make sure I got the right one pulled up. Yeah, there we go. Let's see. Not similar. In, it's got apple in it. That's pretty much <laughs> and jackfruit, I guess. Um, so this one's called Giggle Fritz. Graggle, graggle, grackle. Grackle Fritz, Giggle Fritz, and Grackle Fritz by Omkara Coils. Um, the grape, jackfruit, apple, and citrus, Grackle Fritz. <laughs> I didn't even realize that's what that was, a mix of those things. Um, dark grape up front, juicy jackfruit, tropical note, yada, yada, yada. So he's got Capella Fuji at 2%, Flavora grape at 1.5, TPA grape juice at 5. 
uh, Favora jackfruit at one, and then cap lemon lime at 2.4, sweetener sucralose at one, and fucking WS23 at 2.5. Um, so I did not do 2.5% WS23 because if you do that, you're a fucking psycho. I did <laughs> 0.75, <laughs> and yeah. that was plenty. Hey, some but, people like it. Uh, he does say up here the apple's barely noticeable, but adds body. So I'll float over this um, so people can look at it for a second. But I turned the coolant down, but this is a very nuanced, like we were, have been saying, uh, like an ADV grape recipe. And then I did two grape recipes this week. So there's a little bit of a grape battle here, but I think both of them have their place and they're both very good. But this one's the first one. The grape, the dark grapes are definitely forefront, dark, sweet, candied. Flavora grape is amazing. Backed up with that grape juice pushed up to five percent that's a good great combo i really like that i haven't really played with that combo usually i do flavor and fe together but i like flavor and tpa grape juice together i really do enjoy that um the lemon lime and the jackfruit together add this really wonderful citrus tang to the whole thing which rounded out the fuji apple adds like like he said it adds body i don't detect apple in this at all but it adds that nice juicy like fuji apple body to the grape which is a good way to add body to grape flavorings by the way it's using an apple um and i don't get i did get a slight astringent note from flavora jackfruit on its own like that that gym sock whatever type kind of ripeness but i don't get that in this and it might be because it's only at one percent and it no i think it would go great fruit. with grapes honestly i think that's a genius yeah. idea because it, you would yeah. take it it, it it would give you the that kind of bitter skin note from a grape so you don't make it too bright you eat grapes you know in real I mean? life For even like the, the sweet yeah even the sweet purple grapes there's a bite like a tang sour bite to them and you, so you don't get sour but you do get like this nice citrus the lemon lime i do get i can i can tell that there's lemon lime in this you know capel lemon lime is kind of a, a classic lemon lime flavoring uh, but so what I what I wrote is I would call this grape citrus all day long. Like this is just a really nuanced, delicious grape citrus vape. That's two and a half percent WS twenty three is going to be extremely cold. If you like it kind of cold, tone it down to one percent max. Um, but it's wet, it's juicy, it's full flavored, it's really delicious. It's non medicinal. It's nuanced. I like this one a lot. I'm um, curious I, about that jackfruit now though, and the flavora. If if it's, it one percent, I, I mean, we, did any of us test it at one percent? I didn't go that low. No, and I'd be really curious to see what this tastes like without the flavor in it at all, and see if there's like that much of a difference between it. Because you know, if the lemon lime, if it's just the two grapes and the lemon lime doing most of the heavy lifting, I don't know what the jackfruit's necessarily doing. But it is a good recipe. It doesn't take away from it. At, at all i just don't know if it's like completely adding to it for sure that'd be interesting i don't have the time to fucking do that i'm not gonna do that but <laughs> i bet you or just mix it or try to mix it and just for kind of science that you want. science sake turn up that flavor to two percent just right. to see whether or not you get that astringent note but i'm gonna i'm gonna like skip you for a second and go over my other grape recipe real quick if that's okay um if my keyboard wants to work because in this one you really do know. You can really friggin' tell. Um, which is gonna be jacked up great by DTF. DTF. So I like got Frank. It's Frank. Frank. Sweet candy grape, henna jack root, gives it a bold flavor, lime. Um, good grape in general is kind of a weak flavor. And yeah, if you single flavor test grapes, they are surprisingly not saturated flavorings. Um good uh so yeah yeah uh, capella concord grape with stevia at three tpa grape juice at four there it is again and he's got tpa jackfruit at two and then wonder flavors lime super concentrate at 0.5 very simple mix but fuck is this fucking fantastic like this is good and the the jackfruit in this really does actually stand out a lot more than it does in the other recipe it's playing a much stronger role in this um and i don't know if part of that is because it's got Concord grape versus the Flavora grape, which is that heavy candy. This is more of like a, instead of a really dark purple, it's more of like a light purple. I don't, it's really mm -hmm. hard to describe the differences mm -hmm. between those two, but and the I stevia do. It gives I, it an earthy note, right? How does the stevia do with the super sweet together? I don't, oh, fuck. I thought it was fine. 
I didn't, it didn't, I don't get any weird off notes really from stevia flavorings. I know like Dave and some other people can, um, mm-hmm. but I really do appreciate and enjoy what the, that little touch of lime is doing. Mm-hmm. A lot of people like using lemon to boost their fruits. One of my favorite things to do in real life, as well as in vaping is use limes instead, because it's just a little bit different. It works really good with dark fruits. Um, and, and it works. I can taste it, but at the same time, it's also bringing that grape up a lot more, but the jackfruit in this just really plays like way more of a, a role in the whole thing at nuance, adding nuance to the grape, making it a little bit bitey and tropically. Um, I don't get like, like great pineapple or great mango or whatever. It is just grape with, with a heavy tropical nuance and a little bit of lime to it, which this is Frank, this is really fucking good. And it is a shake and bake for sure. And you didn't um, get any of that astringent note from the jackfruit. No, and I get more of an astringent note from Flavora jackfruit. This is TPA jackfruit. Yeah, that's the TPA. Yeah. Um, yeah. So this one, yeah. no, yeah, no, nothing at all. And it's just at 2%, you don't, it's not turned up too super high. I'm with uh, you in the cooking but, and a lime. I found out ironically one time, cooking we didn't have much to go with to put with eggs and if you put uh key lime fresh key lime right from a tree right on uh eggs right as you're finishing them up it's actually really good <laughs> that sounds really good i put um you know i mix diced onion and cilantro and lime juice all the time and i add that to my eggs hey sam yeah. do you, how's lime sc uh wonder flavors I, I, don't, I don't think i have that one that's good um I haven't played with it a whole lot, honestly. I, I have a lot of lime flavorings, but it like in this, it works. It adds, it it does at 0.5, it does what you would expect, like a lemon or a lime or, and you could do that. And folks out there listening, you can do this type of an accent citrus thing with grapefruits, with orange, with lime, with lemon. You know, it's like, it's going to boost your other fruits out in unique, fun ways. But I do, Ooh, I do like, I do like it. it. It it did what it's what he wanted it to do, which was bring the grape up a little bit more. And there's barely any like actual like, oh, this isn't grape lime. I think this is less grape citrus than the last one is. This is more grape jackfruit. And then the limes in there just doing. So is the jackfruit doing what we expected it to and creating like this flavor? Like you got multiple fruits in there. Is that yep. what's, yeah. Yeah. Just a shit ton of nuance. Like it's, it's not grape pineapple, not grape mango. It's grape with a fuck ton of like nuance and like backup behind it that but it's still grape i don't know it's it's a really good mix frank was in chat i don't know if he's still listening or not maybe he could explain it a little bit better what hey. his thought process was but hey bob uh sam bob ask if it's candied or realistic lime i, for, I uh, wonder flavors wait until the lime episode my man we'll have to make one <laughs> <laughs> no spoilers no hey, it's bob good I, I can't i can't speak on it as a single flavor test that's all i have to say I haven't single flavor tested it, but in this mix, it's in here with a grape, so you would it'd be hard to tell really. But you're going the to go lemon lime, I've lemon. tested a lot, and that's a really good lemon lime. And you know, they're lemons, and so like I trust Wonder Flavors with their uh, yeah, Wonder Flavors is good. good. Go ahead, right, Jim, you want me to grab one? Away. All right, all right. So we got this on here, um, Jack Your Rice by Wendy Vapes, actually. Um, so yeah, I just come across it as it was not picking hers. It's just I like finally found another one I had all the ingredients for. Uh, golden syrup, VTA at 1%. Jackfruit flavor at 2%. Uh, sweet rice, uh, super concentrate at 4%. And vanilla pudding from Flavora at 1.5%. Sweet rice also. And I have it. Express. How did this do? Yes, did fossil made? flavor express. Yeah, that looks good. This was unique. Very, very unique. Um. This is, oh, where's my notes here? I got a, uh, it's tasty, but it's, and this is exactly what I said. It's di- to describe it as a difficult task. It's got like a rice flavor, but it's, you know, how the, you know, how the rice is. It's there, but it's almost starchy. And then you got the have jackfruit mixed, gives it does. Have you mixed what? with the sweet rice before? Only twice. So oh, it's man, still yeah, kind of like looks- new to me. It's such a, I remember the first time I mixed the mango sticky rice and it was a jarring, but very enjoyable experience. Sweet yep. rice is so and then, uh, good. But the thing uh, here is it, it, this really reminds you 
especially the jack the flavor i'm glad she went the flavor not the other for this because it gives that darker like thicker note yeah, that it had I get that. Makes and, better with, like, and with the vanilla note, it reminds me of something you get like at a hawaiian or maybe an asian restaurant or something that's kind of like a, a maybe an appetizer even the I main like, dish like a portion of it i it's, like the golden it's, syrup in yeah and that, that actually i don't think it would have worked without it that gave it that cook note like it, like it was actually a dish so this yeah. is almost like a not quite a complete savory because of that jackfruit being in there, but it is really kind of in the vanilla, but it is sweet mostly rice. savory. Sweet rice is not a savory rice. Sweet rice no. is rice pudding, which you want. I mean, you might be able to bend it into like a say. I don't know. It's it's still like a dessert rice pudding type yeah. rice. This the, the golden syrup gave it a little bit more of the like it might be a cooked element type thing to it, but it was like a dark. No, this is very. I haven't rated it yet, but I'm going to rate her for this one. Give her this one because this is another one that I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I didn't expect to. I was like, one like, thing wow, that also weird. works really well with the sweet rice, and and that's evident by I think Alfred Pudding's. Is it Alfred Pudding or is it who did the mango sticky rice? It's Shindo. Shindo. Shindo sorry, Shindo. Shindo is, and then yeah, there's also tropical fruits, and I've done there's it. There's also pineapple. Spider Jerusalem did it. Yeah, and I've done it with pineapple, and tropical fruits just go so well with that sweet rice vanilla pudding. You know, you got or another cream dairy type cream or pudding cream in there. Um, yeah, that looks really good. I'm gonna have to mix that up. I love that. And that's probably shake and vapable. Well, yes. it's probably um, like a three day, four days. I was going to say it wasn't quite, long. it did take a little. If yeah. you steep it too long, that sweet rice is going to fade. The texture is going to fade, but if you steep it too short, you're not going to get enough of the vanilla pudding. So this is probably like a nice, five to seven days and then you want to vape through that but sweet rice fades texture doesn't fade flavor it's kind of like pb hey whoa 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 whoa, whoa. hey 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 don't yeah don't yeah okay sorry that's next week whoa hey hey, hey. gotta yeah, keep you waiting it, huh? gotta yeah. keep on it spoilers 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 and i want to save my last one to last because there's a reason for that um okay okay i got two more wait no i got one more, <laughs> one more? got one more um, and this one I wanted Daniel to mix, but he was missing a couple flavorings because he's the cactus. I'm probably missing some, knowing you. He's the cactus queen, but um, it's called Desert Nectar by Bear. Oh yeah, I'm missing one. Bear Tylenol PM. No, um, uh, he's trying to remix popular cactus recipe from Noms X2, which I believe is uh, mm. cactus mango. This says in the chat, cactus mango mandarin something like that uh it's cactus um, mango jackfruit mandarin yeah thank you so he's got you know it's cactus, oh, sorry cactus jackfruit mandarin sorry mandarin. yeah yeah uh cactus in aware at three percent tpa jackfruit delicious. At five at, yeah in aware cactus at three tpa jackfruit at five one percent cap super sweet two and a half percent cap sweet lychee lychee three percent uh cap sweet tangerine and one percent fa tanger mandarin Woo, this shit's fucking good. Like, this is don't be scared of the 3% cactus and don't be scared of the mm -hmm. 1% super sweet in this recipe. It is he, what he says. It's shake and vape certified. It is a commercial style recipe. It is very saturated. It is very sweet. It is, it is very much 100% soaking, wet, moist, juicy. It is, he says you could tone down cactus if you want to, if you're a super taster. I don't think you need to do that if you're unless you're like rin or somebody who needs really low percentages but like this recipe is so good the cactus three percent is a main star but the jackfruit lychee combo brings like this dark fruit tangy like tropical thing with like this really syrupy orangey you know backdrop to it that that i am all here for and this is Probably one of my favorite cactus because in a way, a cactus can be like a really overpowering flavoring. It can really yeah. like dominate your yeah. recipe. Um, but I think this is really well balanced and it was really nice. I love recipes where I can like, oh, that looks really good. And I'm grabbing a bunch of older flavorings that I don't rarely ever use, you know, like lychee and the tangerine and the cactus I don't use very often, but unless I want cactus, but even still yeah i didn't have this uh, the lychee or the tang tanger mandarin or whatever i believe i don't have the those two 
and just looking at it and knowing I've vaped the real recipe or like the real e-liquid. That's how it would be like that because it's very cactus forward, the real recipe. That's what makes it like very good. It's a very unique. Uh, it is. And it is definitely cactus and, up front. Yeah. But mm -hmm. exhale, you get you get the lychee, the jackfruit, and the mandarin yeah. in there. And I think the lychee here is just, just kind of adding a bridge or something because I don't remember the 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 recipe having a lychee vibe in it. But maybe it pairs with the cactus there to give like a I kind of funky so. note. I, I don't think know. so. I've never had that of, rest, uh, flavor. I don't. I haven't single flavor tested single flavor tested the sweet lychee, but it is I think bringing like a little bit of like of a darker fruit um to the whole thing because if that was out of there i would like you don't get like dark fruit from jackfruit cactus tangerine or mandarin you know there is like a darker fruit element to this not like you know blueberry or raspberry blackberry or whatever what i like i'm right. curious did you get because at five percent i did get a little bit more of that nectarine vibe did you get that on there maybe a little bit with the tangerine it's mandarin? probably tangerine. if i like yeah because if i do it's probably playing with the tangerine and the mandarin like in, into the yeah. playing into the orange it's because that yeah, was in it, there at five percent did not notice it much at two percent but at five percent i did notice it you know it is a very so in the real weird. recipe it's mostly cactus and jackfruit the the mandarin is kind of like the tannins per se like it's kind of in there like hints but it's it's definitely the like background this is definitely i think he does a good job of balancing this because yeah, he is does more cactus it, it's done well definitely. with and then the lychee and the tangerine and the mandarin are just adding like that's funny those three things i think are what adding are adding the nuance like the heavy nuance to this this recipe versus the cactus and the jackfruit which are like your main your main stars and it's got three five star reviews including mine i yep. saw mine floods and i was like yep i'm fucking mixing this i mean it looks like <laughs> someone actually tried the the Real I think, commercial I think juice. Did, yeah, you know what I mean? yeah, because just based off like that's a good foundation, so I'm pretty sure he got fairly close to it. It looks great. If you, he's and, uh, well, a lot I, for his friends and they love it, so if you like that, give this shit a mix. And, and a quick uh, throw out Dave uh, is in chat and said this light years beyond him. You know, it's these flavors aren't these flavors are good ones to use in a tropical mix when you're not really sure exactly if you want just like a fruit medley. These are actually great flavors for that. They All go really are. like the jackfruits go really good with grapes. Like that's a really good mix. I, I would assume they, I would love to play with them with like cherries. And you'll get to see the, this and next just, mix too. Yeah. Or nectarines or peaches. Um, Pear, I think there's pears, apples. Pears and out. Yeah. There's a lot of different applications that you could use these in. And they, they pineapples it might feel out of your wheelhouse, but at the same time, like they're just going to add nuance to your shit. And pineapples, I, I like bananas, that. like there, all these things that work with them. There's a lot of flavors. Like when you start, you don't think you need innerware cactus is one of those, you know, and there's an endless amount of flavors that necessarily you don't need. But if you are someone that likes creating layers uh, foundations you like developing recipes you're gonna want weird random stuff to add a juicy note to add a funky note to add a tropical note and then a lot of times you try these single flavor tasters and then you're like wait i tried tpa's uh jackfruit and i'm like i'm gonna instantly mix this with pineapples and some mangoes and some bananas and call it a day well, so that's like, like you can instantly thing. get inspiration yeah. from a flavor Okay, I did, I did, I, I did miss the fact that you say he doesn't really care for tropical fruits. That is, a, that okay. In that case, these probably are way out of your wheelhouse. Yeah, they're definitely tropical. Yeah, I didn't catch that part. Lady Liberty pointed out to me. So yeah, uh, like she said, still mix this with this VSO uh, garlic. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Get a uh, get a one on one bacon and one on one garlic and one on one uh, pickle. You can do that if you don't want. And yeah. then TFA jackfruit. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then I got I got <laughs> the last one, but this one here I, I say for last for two reasons. One, I'm vaping it still and enjoying it, but it's also because of who it's made by. And uh, oh. this is kind of like one of those things that's a little sad, a little bittersweet, but yeah. I wanted to, I saw it and I had to grab it, had to mix it. So we have one here, uh, VSO Apple Drink by Vaping Trucker. Um, it's just apple uh vso apple at 3.5 jackfruit tpa at 1.75 uh 
pair VSO at 1.75 and VSO suite at 0.5. And it's it's kind of apple forward with some bright tropical like splash of flavors. I mean, like I, this is one where you really get that TPA jack uh, jackfruit just throws like it, it's like feels like there's so much more fruit in this than that. And then uh, he actually puts notes here. So, I mean, one last time we can actually go through this. Uh, mm -hmm. Just a great apple flavor, off, no off notes, since it's naturally extracted as a slight peel note for which I don't mind, but it really helps the freshness of the apple. Uh, VSO pear, this just bolster the apple, makes a great combo overall, just because you kind of that feel to an apple. So this will give you an idea on how to layer stuff too, if you wanted. If you want to make it feel like you got a little bit more meat to your apple, that's a good way to do it. And a TFA jackfruit. Um, this is a unique flavor that fits the profile prof perfectly. The flavor brings a tartness to the profile, but main reason I'm using this is for the body, mouthfeel, and concentrate it brings with it. And the only thing I don't see there is it gives you a fruit medley that just shouldn't even exist, but it does. So, yeah, yeah like just nuance, uh, nuance on the fruit side, but also a bunch of juicy wetness, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. It does. It, it's actually very, very good. This is a great summertime dr uh, drink recipe almost. So, and yeah, vaping trucker, I just had to. Um, RIP, been nostalgic yeah. this week. Been yeah. nostalgic this week because of losing a Matt Sinister too. So, uh, yeah. yeah. So it's just one of those nostalgic weeks, and that hit perfectly. Couldn't have been a better mix. So and that looks good, thank you guys. It is. It's very good. Like and I, I said, can I'm mix still it. Vaping I can it right mix now. it for the recipe week, so I can try Do it, it too. Do it. Yeah, it's yeah. it's delicious. You have another it one, Sam. Is. You, well, you guys, is that it? We finished with the that band. Is it. We did now. I think that is it. it. That is it. Uh, thank you guys for joining us tonight on our episode. Uh, next week we have Rice coming yeah. up with uh, Dragon Lady. That'll be a really fun episode. Um, and yeah, go comment on the Reddit post. Uh, Get yourself some uh, rice flavors. Sell some twenty dollars worth of Bull City rice flavorings. Um, there's some good ones out there. That'll be a fun app. And yeah, I guess we'll see you guys next week. Yeah. Yeah. See you next week. Thank you guys. Have a good night, y'all. Wayne, paying attention. <laughs>